Hey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei and Always Shining Mobile Detailing in San Antonio. Wouldn't you agree when people are looking for anything, they Google it? I wanted to put this quick video together to kind of show you exactly where you're ranking with your local market and what the top competition guys are doing, give you a few pointers on what you can do to beat them out. There are three key parts to getting found online. Content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll get into what all of those are. But I always start with the content. You know, looking at your site, the layout and everything is awesome. I love the layout on your site. The site looks great. But Google is looking for about 1,500 to 2,000 words on this homepage. So you can organically fit those keywords and keyword phrases that people are looking for into the content on your site. Google doesn't really see any of the pictures or anything. There are some ways to hide keywords behind pictures and stuff like that, but the fastest, easiest way for Google to find them is for them to be organically in the content. You know, like right here in this section, um, you know, you got another small paragraph down here. Those are the type of places that Google is going to be looking for those keywords. So I pulled up a couple of the local guys I found. Um, Diamond Pro. You know, again, not a bad looking site. It's got a little bit of content on there, but not a lot. Um, most of the sites I look at are short on content, which does make them super easy to beat out when we really start pushing for it. This is one of the other ones that I found. Again, not a ton of content there. You know, as you go down through here, he may have five or 600 words. So it should be super easy to get those keywords into your content, get Google finding those and start moving up the ladder with those. Arifs is one of the tools that we use to kind of break everything down. And you're showing up for 85 keywords. So we can go in here and look at what they are. Generally, I don't count the ones that are your company name because those people already know who you are. They're looking for you. And we want the people that don't know who you are to find you. So like right here, you've got car detailing Naples, Florida. That's an awesome keyword. I call them my generic keywords because it says what you do and where you do it. And if you look right here, there are 200 people a month searching for that keyword. And you're in the 16th position, which is about midway on the second page. You know, you're getting just over one click a month on average because of that keyword. Uh, mobile car detailing, Naples, Florida. There's 50 people looking for that. You're in the 22nd position, which is the top of the third page. You're getting maybe one a month from that. But looking at some of these volume, the volume here that some of these people are looking and seeing how many people in your area are searching. Just think about what that could do if you could bring in more of those clients. Generally, the number one guy in that position is going to get about a third of that traffic. So say there's, you know, looking at car detailing Naples, there's 200 people searching that. You'd get about 60 to 70 visits a month to your site instead of one if we could get you up to that number one spot for that keyword. You know, here's another good one. Auto detailing Naples, Florida. There's 100 people a month searching that. Um, you're toward the bottom of the third page in position 27. So we'll go here and kind of look and see what some of the other guys have. This guy's showing up for 100 keywords. This guy's got 83. So we'll go back and look over here, see what he's got going on. Um, car detailing, Naples FL. 200 searches. He's in the third position. He's getting 22 visits a month to his site on average because of that one keyword phrase right there. Auto detailing, Naples FL. 100 people a month looking for it. He's in the second position. He's getting 15 visits a month. Mobile car detailing, Naples, Florida. He's in the second position, getting seven out of the 50 that are searching for that. So he's got the right type of keywords on here, and he's doing pretty well with them. But think about that additional traffic if we could beat these guys out and, you know, get these 40 or 50 people coming to your site instead of his. The other thing that I like to talk about are your citations. This right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. You should have a Google My Business page set up. If you don't, I highly recommend doing that. Um, citations are a big part of getting that Google My Business page showing up here in the top three on the Map Pack. And what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed exactly the way it is on your GMB page in multiple directories across the internet. There's Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's literally thousands of them out there. As you can see, the guys that are currently ranking up here, they don't even have websites listed. So it should be super easy to get some citations on there, get your GMB completely filled out properly, 
you know, get those citations going and get you up into here. Some of the other factors are your reviews, but as you can see, you know, these guys have some five-star reviews, but there's not very many of them. So if we can get more reviews coming in for you, you know, go out, talk to some of your previous customers, you know, maybe get 20, 25 of them to give you a good review. That'll also help you get up in here. And also the, the number of pictures that you put onto your GMB. All of that's going to help get into this map pack area. The third thing is your citation, or backlinks, I mean, sorry about that. But you're currently showing up for six backlinks. A backlink is any other website that has a link back to yours. So some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting that can do. Tons of ways to get backlinks. But realistically, it's a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, the more authority they're going to give your page. So if you're going to go out and do the blog comment type stuff, or really any type of backlinks, whether it's guest posting or influential sites, whatever you're doing, try to keep them relevant to the industry that you're in. Those are the ones that are going to pass you the most power. Um, not all backlinks are created equal. So a backlink at your local hair salon is probably not going to do you any good. You know, if we go over here and look, this guy's got 25 backlinks. This guy has 17, so we'll go back over here. With the tools we have, we can go in and see exactly where these guys are getting their backlinks from. And then we can go in and check these pages out, make sure they're the right type of backlinks that we want, make sure they have the authority that we want, and go in and try to get those same backlinks for you. And then go in and find some more and kind of beat this guy at his own game. You know, I kind of call it the copycat method. Copy the guy that's winning. Go out and get some more on your own and beat them out. But that is my basic overview for you. You know, like I said, this is all stuff you could probably do. It just takes a lot of time. If you need some help with it, it's definitely something that we could do for you. I can generally get results coming in within 30 to 60 days for any detailing business. You know, whether you're interested or not, I'd love to hear some feedback. Just get some thoughts, you know, what you thought about the video. If there's any kind of key points in there that you think really might help you out. You know, my goal is to exclusively help one detailer in each area get consistent, predictable leads coming into their business. We are a no-contract company. We keep our clients with results. So if it's something you think you might be interested in, feel free to reach back out. Thank you for your time.